it's Stuart from Motivational Construction and we're motivated to make your home look better. Today we're doing a crown trim job. We sprayed all these with enamel semi-gloss, so it's a hard finish. It's really good for making your miters and your coping so wood doesn't chip off and it gives you a nice line. We set up a jig box here to hold our crown to profile as if we were gonna put it against the wall with this 90 degree here. We're just setting up the saw now to cut some 30s to splice in 16 foot pieces of wood around the top. We've had three different planes that we had to deal with. We had to splice in some blocking, lots of caulking, lots of gaps. Drywall was just uh, challenging, lots of waves. But we're gonna show you how to handle crappy drywall. There we go. So nothing really fits. This is the only miter box that gets in the little hallway where I'm like trying to stand right by the work. Is that a big enough lay for this crown? I hope so. What do you think? I don't know. We're about to find out. This is gonna happen. Is it nice? No problem. Probably gonna get enough to But since I'm cutting like that, I don't even know what I'm thinking, man. It's a tough call. I trust your opinion more than mine. Six one ahead for the zero. What's the difference? So so far, this is what we've done. Room. Just put a crown here. Just have some finishing touches to do. Just a little bit of caulk. As you can see right here, that crack, that's what we're dealing with walls. Bowing in and out. That's where all those gaps are. That's because of drywall flavor. Is that? Is that? Yeah. That's done? Yeah. This is our most challenging room. We have three different planes. Let's see how they go here. There. And there. All different heights. So we had to make up some custom blocks and kind of sew it all together. It's also pretty challenging because the, the wall is a little bit longer than expected. Because we have longer on this side versus that side. So we had to make up for it the way we fit it in. And as you can see, that's why there's a little bit of a gap back there. Probably the best sensor system ever. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a stud right there. <laughs> you hear it? Let's see. Are they stacking them? Are they stacking them? So you got your stud up, and is the is the ceiling and all the right on top of the stud? I don't know. You're supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> just gonna bump this, right? Mm -hmm. And cool. Yeah. Uh, where do you want it? Top or bottom? I'll do bottom short point. And okay, so we got 64 and 5 eighths. 64 and 5 eighths. Is that a good one? We're just gonna butt it, yeah, we're gonna just butt it against the wall. Alright, so, we're gonna be coming in this forward this way. Can see, kind of takes some waves. Yeah, 
We're gonna try and hold it up tight, but it's not going. So I use a piece of shim just to bring it level so this joint will be a little bit nicer. And then we're gonna run a bead at cock. Right. The only thing is to see a little bit of that shim. So if that ever happens, you take a hammer and put it in to get that shim in a little deeper. I'm gonna be able to actually cover it up. This time a little better and then I'm gonna Sew this joint up a little tighter with a nail. Did you nail it, Park Corner? No, I didn't. Should I? Yeah, probably should. Maybe you should miss it. Yeah, I'll definitely. After doing a range hood, a sink, a disposal, microwave, a toilet, um, and a garbage, well, yeah, and then some plumbing cuts, and then some door measurements. Yeah, it's a long day. I'm done. <laughs> Motivational construction out.